If Trey Lance is healthy to play week one, he should start. I know a lot of people feel like, well, he needs to get better in the pocket before he's ready to start. Um, there, That's true to a degree. I'm really an advocate of getting the quarterback outside the pocket as much as possible because that's what the big plays are. And uh, pass protection is just worse and worse every year. But still, at least 50% of your throws have to come from in the pocket. Probably more like 75. At least 50%. So you can't be awful. And what we saw from Trey Lance is a guy who's real quick. What is pocket passing? In today's NFL, it's mostly shotgun, quick pass, quick game. Get the ball, read the defense instantly, throw a quick pass, get yards after the catch. That's what pocket passing is. And if you're going to throw those quick passes 100 miles an hour, you're going to really struggle as a quarterback. They can't roll you out every time. So I understand people saying, well, look at it. Look at look at how we do those quick passes from the shotgun. In preseason, he's not ready. Well, here's what I want to say. <laughs> I think we're over analyzing preseason here. If you look at the totality of what he's done since high school, in college, he completed 66%, threw more than 200, almost 300 passes in college, completed 66% of them through one interception. Uh, was fantastic. He was actually quite accurate and completed a high percentage of his throws between zero and 10 yards. Of the line of scrimmage. His best throws were the short throws. He became inaccurate as he went downfield. When you compare his throwing to Fields, Herbert, Wilson, they were all more accurate down the field. He was good on the quick stuff because he has a quick release, good mechanics. He's smart. He knows where to go with the football. He's a good pocket passer. Completed a high percentage of his throws, didn't throw picks. Did a lot of his throwing from the pocket. Then he goes to camp. Throws, hold on. How many passes did he threw? 242 passes in camp. Completed 69.4% of them through 12 touchdown passes, four picks. A lot of those throws were in the pocket, from the gun, quick throws. And yes, he throw, he sails one here and there, high. Yes, he throws them hard. but And yes, sometimes they wobble. Sometimes his receivers drop them. Still, he completed 69.4% of his throws in camp. That's a big sample size, 242 passes, almost a season. Almost his entire college career, completed 66% in college. Then goes to preseason, throws 41 passes, 10 or drop. I think what we saw in preseason is a guy who was never really able to get into a rhythm. I mean, he got sacked four times in the first game. He's playing mostly behind the second string offensive line. He got hit a lot. When he got to play with the starters in the third game, he was Taysom Hill. He was handing off. Um, the one time he got into rhythm in the preseason was toward the end of the first half of the Chargers game. And he led a really nice drive. He completed seven to nine throws, I believe. And that touchdown pass he threw to Travis Benjamin was beautiful. It was from the pocket. It was a straight drop from the gun. He looked left, moved the uh, defender, and threw an absolute strike that was catchable and didn't wobble to Travis Benjamin. I think what we're seeing is a guy who actually historically is good enough from the pocket. He can, he can read defenses. He can get the ball out quickly and accurately. He throws it hard. Why was he throwing it too hard in preseason? There's a lot of reasons. He didn't play for a year. He's coming from 1AA football. He's adjusting to the speed of the game. He's trying to impress a head coach who seems skeptical. It was a small he was it was a small sample size. He never got into a rhythm. What I saw from him in practice is a guy who would often miss his first throw. I wrote about it. He would often sail his first throw. And then if you gave him 20 throws in a practice, he'd settle down and complete about 70% of them and not throw picks. All he needs really is some extended play so he can get in the flow of a game and he'll adjust to the speed of it within the game. My prediction is if you start, if he's healthy enough to start week one, the first drive might look like the preseason, a little over amped, throwing the, the quick passes too hard, trying too hard, like just way too much adrenaline. First drive, maybe the first two drives might look a lot like the preseason. By the third drive, I would expect he would settle into the flow of the game and he would start completing a high percentage of his passes. He would harness the velocity in his throws. He'd be effective from the pocket. He wouldn't be great, but he'd be effective enough to keep the defense honest by throwing 50, 60, 65% of his passes from the shotgun, quick throws, just to open up the play action game. Because honestly, the Niners want to do as much running, zone reading, and play action passing as possible. The drop back passing game is just to keep the defense honest. Honest. That's your screens. Your slants, your quick game, quick passes. Great. That's part of it. He's good at it. 
He was good at in camp. He was good at in college. He'll be good at it if you let him play for like four drives in a row with the same people. Let him settle into the flow of a game. Because here's what will happen. Even though he missed, didn't play last year, even though he went to big change in the speed of the game, he's still the most athletic player on the field. And what he'll realize once he gets into the whole, in, into the flow of a game is that it's not that hard. It doesn't have to be that hard. You running the zone read is going to freak out defenses. They're not going to have a, a, an answer for it. You're going to average six yards of carry easy. You're going to feel, Trey, that you're the best athlete on the field, that you don't have to make it so hard, that you can operate from the pocket. You're good enough. You can do it. And you can get out of the pocket whenever you want. And you can make any throw you want. Or you can run for the same amount of yards. Like you could throw it 30 yards or run for 30 yards when you get outside the pocket. You're going to realize that the game's going to be a lot easier than you think. They handcuffed you in the preseason. In the regular season, you're going to, they're going to let you do whatever you do well. And I think he's going to show that he's good enough in the pocket to be a really dangerous quarterback right away. Give him a game. Let him settle into a game. Don't use him as Taysom Hill. If all he gets to do is hand off five times, run five times, and throw twice, he's going to probably sail those two throws. It's like you're asking a guy, like he's like Giannis, okay? Yes, Giannis can hit the three, but it's not, I mean, it's not his, it's not the best thing about him. You want to get him some dunks, maybe get him feeling confident before you ask him to shoot some, some threes. He's good enough in the pocket. We saw it in camp, saw it in preseason, in flashes, saw it in college. Let him start. Let him get in the flow. He's not going to improve. He's not going to get into the flow and improve his pocket passing by coming in every other play to run the ball or watching from the sideline. This is an issue that is only going to be fixed from playing time. It's an issue that has, cre has been created because he's not starting. Wasn't an issue in camp. Wasn't an issue in college. It's an issue in preseason because you were jerking him around. Don't jerk him around the pre in, the, in the regular season. Let him start. Let him show that he's the, the pocket passer you think he is. You thought he was. Because he didn't just draft him to roll out 100% of the time. He can do it. Good pocket passer. Is, is the rumor that Jalen is returning kicks? Uh, I, I can neither confirm nor deny. News to me. Easy Tino says, Lawrence Jones and Wilson are starting for their teams, but the two black quarterbacks selected in the draft are deemed not ready yet. No more excuses, NFL. I know. It all feels coded, right? Oh, he's not ready. He just doesn't understand the nuances of the game. That's a dog whistle. What do you mean he doesn't understand the nuances of the game? He's really really smart. He's just, he's just young. He needs experience. He never got into a flow in a rhythm in the preseason. Actually he did in the second quarter of the chargers and looked really good. Let him play a whole game with the starters. I don't know. I mean, I hear what you're saying, man. And I, I, I think I've been thinking the same thing too. A lot of the discourse sounds coded and it makes me, I think that's why I'm so feisty about it on, tr on Twitter and stuff. I don't like the way people, some of some people's coded language, not everyone's of course, some people's coded language on this. What's going on here, guys?